I'm in Python 3 right now. And in the magical far-off land of some place called Canada, the savings rate is allegedly 1.10%. Well, that would be nice if I can get a savings rate like that at a bank. Let's make up a program for that. So I'm going to create a program called WLoop Bank. WLoopBank.py. Let me make this a little bit bigger, like so. Like so. That looks good. All right, let's start off with the balance. Balance, let's say, is equal to $10,000. And my rate, according to that infallible web page, was one web picture was 1.10. 1 and the years equal to zero. Now, I want to find out how, at what point I'm going to make $200,000. That's what I want. While my balance is less than $200,000, colon, this is what I want you to do. Balance is times equal to rate. And then years is plus equal to one. Plus equal to one. Then print out the following. At colon, quotes, whoops, at colon, quotes, comma, string, years, years, plus, now do a space, line, continuation character, quotes, and uh, so it'll say at, then a number, and then I wanted to say, space, years, you have, colon, quotes, comma, string, balance, close quotes. That should be it. Now, what is this actually saying? This is going to take the balance and times equals rate. Well, the rate is 1.10. The balance is 10,000. Let's see that done on the screen here so you can understand that very plainly. Uh, key in Python. And now here I'll say balance equals 10,000. Rate equals 1.10. Now, balance times, now notice I'm going to make one little tiny change here. I'm going to multiply it times 0 0.10. Balance, time, balance times 0 0.10 gives me 1,000. 1, wow. Now I, my balance is 10,000 times 0.10 is 1,000. Now if I say balance times 1.10, it's going to give me my 10,000 plus the 1,000. So when I key in balance, which is 10,000, I key in balance times 1.10, I'll get 11,000. If I say balance star equals rate, which is 10,000 times 1.10, I'm going to get 11,000 but this time I took that 11,000 and I assigned it back to balance. B-A-L is now equal to 11,000. So balance times equals rate means balance is now equal to balance times rate. Take that value, 11,000, reassign it back to the guy on the left, which is BAL. Wow. Okay. So let's make a program 
that uh, that does this. And we have balance equals 10,000, rate equals 1.10, years equals zero. While balance is less than 200,000, do the following. Remember, my balance is now what? 10,000. So it's less than 200,000. So it's going to keep doing this up until balance is different. It is greater than, is no longer less than 200,000. So balance equals itself times raise, and then that's reassigned back to balance, just like we did a moment ago here. Then I increment the years. Years is zero, years is one. Then I print out at this number of years, at this number of years, you have this much money. And I print out whatever is in balance. When it passes 200,000, it's going to stop. Okay, that's our program. Well, so get this out of the way. And let's quit out of the uh, Python prompt. Clear up the screen. And let's run that program, which is wloopbank.py. And, wow, look what I guess. At one year, you have 11,000. Two years, you have 12,100. Then three years, 13,310, etc., etc., etc. At 32 years, you have 211,137. 211, year 31, 191,943. Wow. So, starting off with uh, a little bit of seed money, 10,000. You pass 200,000 in 32 years. Wow. Okay. That's our program. One more time. Balance is equal to 10,000. The rate is one dot ten percent savings rate, Canada. <laughs> Years equals zero. That's your start point. While the balance is less than two hundred thousand, balance times equals rate. So it keeps taking balance, multiplying it times rate of one dot ten, reassigning that back to balance. Years are incremented, and it prints out that at that particular year you have this amount of money. When it passes 200,000, when balance passes 200,000, that's it. The program stops. One more time. Let's run that program. And bingo. There it is. Once it passes 200,000, it stops. It's 211, 137,000, it stops. And that's it. I have no more to say on this subject. This is George Bull. Bye-bye now.